How's it going guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse and today we're going to be taking a first look at the new Mizuno Wave Rebellion. Now the Rebellion is going to be Mizuno's latest and most innovative running shoe in the market. I've just got the shoe on my feet, done some test runs and it is definitely very different than any of the other Mizuno shoes we've seen release over the last couple of years. Again, a lot of new technology, some new compounds. We're going to dive into this shoe right now. So first on up, we're going to take a look at the midsole. We've got Mizuno's latest most responsive and lightest compound to date. We've got full length Energy Light. It runs throughout the shoe from forefoot to heel. It's gonna create a very responsive on foot experience and definitely very different than any other Mizuno shoe. It's got that pop, it's got that very unique feel. And while it is maybe a little softer than some of Mizuno's past midsole compounds, I will say it's maybe not quite as soft as some of the other super foams on the market, but still very impressive. Now, from a stack height perspective, we're looking at about 37 mil mils in the heel, 29 mils in the forefoot. So a decent amount of protection, but it isn't gonna be quite as max stacked as some of the other super shoes. To help with that efficiency story, that foam is gonna work together with a plate. It's not gonna be carbon fiber. It runs from the heel through the midfoot, and then as it reaches the forefoot, it's gonna fork out. It creates a fairly stiff and rigid design, but again, not quite as aggressive as some of the carbon fiber plated competition. Now, moving on down to the outsole, we got plenty of rubber, a G3 design that works from the heel to the forefoot. We got plenty of rubber that's gonna help with that durability and that traction. And it is still fairly thin, so it's gonna keep weight down. It's also worth noting in the heel, we've got a cutout of the Energy Light and that rubber to help keep weight down. And then you're gonna see that Mizuno Wave plate uh, that's embedded in the midfoot now exposed. Moving on into the upper, we've got more of a performance trainer-like design. It's not gonna be extremely stripped down, but it is still gonna be fairly light. In the heel, it's a little bit more built up. It's fairly firm. It's gonna offer a nice heel lockdown. And then as you move into the midfoot and the forefoot, it starts to get stripped down just a little bit, a little bit lighter. There still is some padding. Uh, but overall it's gonna be a fairly snug uh, midfoot experience. As you get into the toe box, it's fairly shallow and I did note that the length was a little bit short. I had to go up a half size and definitely if you are on the border between sizes, I would highly recommend going up that half size. One final note I did notice about the upper is gonna be in this tongue. It's fairly thin, but I did find it ran a little bit long, so it was a little bit uncomfortable as I got it on foot. It was just a little bit awkward, but as I started running, I didn't really notice it, but I do think that this tongue could use a little bit of uh, fit work. With all that being said, I am very excited for the new Mizuno Wave Rebellion. I think it shows what Mizuno is capable of moving into the future. We're seeing new midsole compounds. We're seeing lighter weight designs. We're seeing something that's a little bit more progressive where Mizuno over the last couple of years has been fairly traditional. Now, what am I gonna use this shoe for? I think there are definitely still some better options on elite marathon racing day, but I do think that this is an awesome workout day shoe. I think it's fast, it's responsive. That plate design is gonna be a little bit more versatile so you can use it for a wide range of training needs. I've even brought this out for some daily training for some slower and steady efforts and the shoe performs really well at a wide variety of paces. Overall, I think the Mizuno Wave Rebellion is gonna be a fantastic performance training option that some people may even use for daily training or race day. Pretty good versatility in a very responsive package. If you're looking to get this shoe on your feet, it'll be available in August 2021 here at Running Warehouse.